Hello guys, welcome. So uh, today in this video, we're going to look at uh, what updates have happened in the last couple of days with regard to, uh, you know, the IPM exams that are going to be conducted this year. Uh, like, for example, National Testing Agency has released some information about uh, JIPMAT. Uh, IM Indoor has postponed its examination, as has IM Rotak. So we'll look at that and also look at how that affects your preparation for your IPMAT exam this year. So first off, what changes have happened? What are the improvements or what are the notifications that have been released now? Uh, just in the last few days, we know that IIM Rotak has its uh, date, uh, you know, postponed by a week. So it was previously scheduled to happen on the 12th of June, uh, but right now it's going to take place on 19th of June. So you have around three weeks to prepare for uh, after your board exams are over, you know, for the IPM Rotak. Uh, same way, JIPMAT has released its exam uh, date uh, this year, and that's going to take place on 20th of June, which is a day after your uh, Rotak exams. Uh, that's another thing and uh, thirdly the third major uh, development that has happened uh, which happened a couple of days ago which was IPM Indoor or IM Indoor has postponed its IPM exam by around five weeks so that exam is not going to take place on 14th of June when it was initially uh, scheduled instead it's going to take place on 16th of July so you're going to have around 45-50 days to prepare for the exam after your boards are over so this kind of gives more questions than it does answer anything at all uh, to whether whether you're a student that's preparing for the exam or whether you're a parent whose child is preparing for the IPM, everyone's wondering how this affects your preparation for the exam. So I'm going to talk about, uh, like there are going to be some exceptions to this, but on an overall level, most students are going to be done with their board exams by the end of May or latest by 1st or 2nd of June. Uh, so from there, you have at least a couple of weeks to prepare for your first two IPM exams, which is IPM Rotak and JIPMAT that, that are going to take place on 19th and 20th of June. So even for that, you have some amount of time to, you know, prepare for, meaning you can, you can, you can do a little bit of revision of topics, you can practice a lot of questions, take a few mock tests, all of this is stuff that you could not have done in 10 days, but you can definitely do in a couple of weeks or, you know, 20 days or something like that. Uh, that's one part. Uh, more importantly, you'll have around five weeks to prepare for indoor which is essentially the amount of time that you actually have to prepare, that you need to prepare, that you'll need in order to prepare for the IPMAT indoor examination. So you can take a big chunk of your preparation for the IPMAT and finish it off after your board exams are over. Uh, so you, the, the, the pressure of handling your boards and your IPM exam right now is not going to be there. Uh, just a caveat at the end of the video right now. Uh, I, the board exam, the exams have been postponed, yes. There's enough time to prepare after the board exams are over. All of that's yes. But should you start your preparation only after your board exams are over? Definitely not. Uh, you still have 40 days or 30 days till your board exams are going to start. Uh, you can spend, say an hour, hour and a half for your preparation on a daily basis or around 10 hours to prepare in a week for your IPM, solely focus on your IPM. And you can, in this time, you can do two things. One for mathematics, you can take up say eight to 10 topics, finish off the basics, understand the theory and practice 50, 100 questions from each. And apart from this, you can also spend an hour, hour and a half on a daily basis reading something, preferably the newspaper, say, say Hindu or the Indian Express, reading for at least half an hour, 45 minutes or an hour. And that's going to build up your reading habit like nothing else will. So these two things on a daily basis from now to April is going to take part, take a majority of your preparation or a big chunk of your preparation. And then the rest you can take care of after borders, boards are over. So start off your preparation for IPMAT as soon as possible. Okay, so uh, with that, we come to the end of this video. Uh, IP mat preparation can at times get complicated knowing when to study what and uh, how long for all of that is tricky sometimes. So if you have any questions with regard to your preparation, uh, be it uh, the IPM programs that are offered by IIMs, the, the IPM examination that's conducted uh, across and anything else with regard to that, uh, you can definitely reach out to us. We'll have our email address here. It's uh, study at 2im.com or you can reach out to us on call or WhatsApp at uh, 944596 We'll have this information somewhere on the screen and you also have it in the description. Good luck for IPMAT. Thank you.